now such an honor and a pleasure for me to introduce Matteo Musso. Matteo is a 14-year-old speaker, author, poet, artist, music writer with autism. His amazing message is love and assumed intelligence. He's the author of two books, Handbook of Us, Understanding and Accepting People with Autism, and Love Land, Where the Heart is King. Please make sure you look around and see the posters of the artwork and the words that Matteo has written. Two years ago, he began communicating using a letter board. He and his mother, Annette, have flown in from the Bay Area to join us this evening. And, we're he and they're here to share his inspiring story. Welcome, Annette and Matteo. W E L L well H I Hi E V E R Y O N Well hi everyone I A M B O T both H O N O R E honored A and, and H U M I did B and L E I am both honored and humble O two B E to B H E R here T O N I G H T I'm both honored and humbled to be here tonight. I a M N O not A L A W Y E lawyer <laughs> o, or I N V E S T M E N investment G U Guy, <laughs> Y, E, yet, A, at, L, E, A, S, T, at least. <laughs> B, U, but, W, H, E, when, T, H, E, but when they, L, E let L E T T E R B O A R D when they let letter boards I N T H the C O U R court R O O when they let letter boards in the courtroom L O O look O U Look out. <laughs> I A M J U S just A G U a guy W I T with A M E S S A G. I'm just a guy with a message. T H the P E R V E R perver B I A the proverbial D U C duct T A P duct tape W A was P U L L E was pulled O F F off A C O U P L a couple 
Y E A R years A G ago A M and I M T H the M O S most B L E S S E blessed K I kid I N T H the W so we're not supposed to do this? <laughs> oh, I got it. I mean, R, L, D. The proverbial duct tape was pulled off a couple years ago, and I'm the most blessed kid in the world. I, G, E. Hi, Mama. Get, hi, baby. I get T, 2, R, E, Rep, R, E, S, E. And represent you. Yeah, I get to represent my esteemed colleagues on this autism spectrum. M O Mom W I L L Will R E A Read W H A What T H The A R T Arts M E A Mean to me, so you C A can C O N T I N, so you can continue T H the P A R T party. <laughs> So Mateo and I sat down for 20 minutes the other day. Aisha kept saying, so what's he going to say? What's he going to say? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what he comes up with. So 20 minutes later, we had, we had this message he wanted to share with all of you. I am honored to be present here tonight as a representative of autistic people and silent ones everywhere. It wasn't too long ago that I was considered to have diminished intelligence and a lack of understanding social cues. I had limited activities in my daily life and most were to forward what my parents and loved ones considered my learning. I have prayed long and hard for this miraculous life I now lead. I was trapped in so many ways, no speech or method to communicate that which I understood, thought, felt, or experienced. Can you imagine listening to the people talk about you and then thinking they understand why you do the things that you do but are sadly mistaken? Often I wanted to scream, as mom I did too, <laughs> and say, no, no, you're wrong. I am present, even if I don't acknowledge you. I am smart, just teach and educate me. I love music, that's not why I'm covering my ears. I love you, even though I may not be able to make my body tolerate your touch. The wishes I had could be listed in a document longer than the Magna Carta, or a book thicker than Harry Potter. I couldn't draw a stick figure because I had a hard time initiating bodily movements. But now that I have a loving and talented teacher to guide me, I'm able to release my inner Degas and art mentor in my mind, Matisse. You see, we can do anything if given the chance and taught. We just need people around us to be willing to look past the facade our bodies present and see the potential that lies within. I know the Lincoln Center is all about the arts. Their new program, Big Umbrella Festival, that brings arts into the lives of, pe of autistic people is a blessing beyond compare and a gift that forever will be etched not only into the memories, but into the lives of its benefactors. You see, the arts are the only things that don't have such rights and wrongs. For autistics, our lives are all about such things, from the ways we communicate to the ways we enjoy life. They are constantly judged by society as right or wrong. And that's why exposure to and ways to participate and enjoy the arts is critical to the nourishment of our souls. If you enjoy a nice concert after a long week of work, just imagine the feeling you would get enjoying that concert after 12 straight years of work. Then you'll get a glimpse into the journey my soul has had the last year when I heard the San Francisco Symphony perform live for the first time. 
I wrote about it in my book and even sent a letter of thanks to the conductor and all the musicians. I sent a silent note of thanks to the composers, too. Just know that exposing autistics to life's soul-moving experiences cannot be measured, and most will not be able to tell the world what it meant to them. But I hope that after tonight, you'll feel it in your hearts and just de breathe a deep, luscious, satisfying breath of knowing. Thank you for caring and coming tonight. Thank you for the gifts you're giving. Let's take a moment to hear all the silent thank yous from autistics enjoying Big Umbrella Festival this year. Your friend, who's a piece of abstract art himself, <laughs> Mateo Musso. say how humbled and, and grateful we are to be here tonight and thank you for everything you guys are doing it's it's uh if you want to talk more to Matteo about what this really means come on over we're hanging out <laughs> um he did want to give you each a gift uh, it's a poem on the back of this um bookmark it's a practical gift and they're over here by the dancing colors of the universe or at the sky or something like that. He's got a lot of poems. Anyway, feel free to pick one up and, and that's his gift uh, for, for you tonight. So thank you all very much and enjoy the rest of the evening.